All right, mini Brazilian monster here, the Stetson IR 400.4, rated 200 by two, and at 138, we're gonna try one kilohertz track. We've got the channels bridged, and we're gonna go uncertified this time, up to clipping, let's see what we can get. My name is Derek and I do YouTube videos about audio equipment. Videos about audio. I know it doesn't make sense, but if you guys enjoy that type of stuff, you might enjoy subscribing to my channel and I'd appreciate it. So stick around for the cool content and don't be surprised if you see a big dummy. What's up guys, Big D Wiz, Wilson Audio Labs. Here today we're gonna look at Stetson Amp, specifically the Ironline IR400.4. These are very small amplifiers packing quite a bit of power. You can see this one, 129 bucks, four channel, says it's 400 watts. Well, what does that mean? Four times 100 or two times 200. So let's unbox it, check it out and see what it's inside. And as you can see, as many Brazilian amps, nothing here to protect it. It's literally just inside the cardboard. It's got a manual and a sticker. That was it. It wasn't even wrapped up in plastic. Kind of hard to believe. Here's the dimensions. It's about five inches or 127.5 millimeters by four and a half inches or 116 millimeters. And the thickness is right around two inches or so. You can see here are the inputs for the power and ground, 25 amp fuse, and also all the speaker outputs. On the opposite side, we have the RCA inputs for front and rear, level adjustment for front and rear and then switches for flat high pass or low pass for front and rear individually the insert terminals only accept 12 gauge wire at the largest you can see here look how close the positive and negative are way too close in my opinion and kind of dangerous honestly i don't know why they didn't put the plus and minus on the outside and then have the remote on the inside let's fire up the amp dyno get the Step some baby amplifier wired up and we will try it on the dyno. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so I've got this baby Stetson IR 400.4 hooked up here. It's mighty difficult to connect it because of how close the connections are for the power and ground. It only accepts 12 gauge, so I had to use speaker wire. Anyway, um, got it bridged, it's rated 200 by two at four ohms. We're gonna try the certified test at one kilohertz. Uh, a lot of times these Brazilian amps don't like the certified test, so we'll do uncertified second if it can't do well. But here we go, let's try certified. Four ohms bridge rated 200 by two at 13.8. All right, looks like it died at 45 watts per channel. <laughs> Bridged. Again, um, let's try the uncertified and see what we get that way. All right. 46 and 47 watts. So <laughs> not sure what's up here, Stetson. Uh, yeah, not quite getting anywhere near that uh, wattage you're saying. Hmm. All right, let's try this baby Stetson bridged at four ohms and let's try a 40 hertz track, see if it likes that better. Isn't that odd? It actually likes the 40 hertz track better than the one kilohertz track. Hmm. Very, very strange. All right, just a crazy whack funky test. We're gonna try four kilohertz up to clipping for the Stetson mini amp. Rated 200 by two. All right, I think we found out what they've done. 196, 187 at 13.9, that's at four kilohertz. That's right, 4,000 hertz.
All right, friends, have this tiny Stetson IR400.4 on the dyno and not been real re impressed with the results. So I bumped the frequency up to 10 kilohertz. I'm gonna see if I can get that 200 by two. We're gonna run it uncertify this up to clipping. So if you have a dog or anything nearby that has good hearing, you may want to keep them away from your computer. All right, there's your 200 watts, 233, 225 at 13.87. But again, we use the 10 kilohertz track, 10 kilohertz, out to the ear. All right, so after all the tests, I did a measurement here of the temperature. You can see right around 108 degrees Fahrenheit on the outside of the amp. Next up, make sure you guys check out 12V Talk on YouTube, youtube.com slash 12V Talk. Me and Hi5 Vega do a podcast every week. Now let's check what's inside this Brazilian mini monster. Let's turn it over, take apart the amp, take out some screws. First off, first thing I noticed is you need a special bit. So what do you think we had to use? That's right, our Amazon precision screwdriver check the video description you can pick one of these up for yourself get a couple extra keep them all around the house because you're always going to need something like this but here it is oh yeah there it is wow those of you who may know the chinese chip amps i've done in the past take a look at the board of this amp it looks a lot like that you can see there's the rcas there's the chip there it's a four channel chip and it's got a power supply there's a transformer on the right side yeah, it's pretty much a class D chip amp, four channel with a power supply built in. Not nothing real fancy here, folks. Well, let's uh, hook it up to some speakers and give it a sound check, what you say. All right, so here I have this little Stetson IR400.4, the Iron series, hooked up to my Rockford bookshelf speakers. You can check the video description for a link to see me build those or really just put them in a new enclosure. I've got the SMD AMM1 hooked up to the Sundown SA 6.5, and we're just gonna play around a little bit with it and see what uh, what we get. Again, this is uh, audio recorded from my phone, so you know, no audio file quality here, but uh, anyway, just wanted to let you guys get a demo. Let's check it out. This song is from the YouTube audio library. It's called Military Electronic, I think, it's by Kevin McLeod. Here's another song from the YouTube Audio Library. I'm not sure the name of this one. I'll try to leave it in the video description below. Okay, I know they're from the YouTube Audio Library. This one's called Pina Colada. It's got some pretty cool stereo separation in the beginning before the bass line kicks in. So let's check this one out. Thank you. 
Yeah, when the piano comes in, it sounds a little harsh. And again, that's the Class D chip here in this amp. This will be a good amp for, I don't know, maybe a boom box or somewhere where it's a noisy environment where you're not really having um, you know, sound quality needs. Uh, but it will amplify your music. Uh, just, you know, it's not the greatest of sound. But anyway, yeah, neat little demo here with the Sundown Sub and the Rockford uh, four inch audiophile separate. So pretty cool. All right, now let's show off those results that you just saw in the video. Here's a dyno sheet. Again, around 45 watts up to 1% THD. We did get over 100 watts when we went to four kilohertz, which is crazy. And then 10 kilohertz, 233 watts per channel. But who, yeah, I don't even know why. I, yeah, I don't know where Stetson got their ratings. Obviously they used a very high frequency, but that's why people like me with amp dynos can test things like this and see you know, what the real measurements are. So it's an okay amp. I really didn't like the sound quality, um, but I mean, it fits in the palm of your hand, uses a class D chip. It's overpriced in my opinion, especially here in the US. It was 130 bucks. I mean, if it was about 50, I think that would be an okay deal, but yeah, kind of overpriced in my opinion. All right guys, thanks as always for watching, liking, commenting, sharing my videos. It's greatly appreciated. More fun stuff coming in the near future. Thanks as always, Big D Wiz. I'm out of here. All right, Alpine PXM12, two ohm certified, 1% THD at 40 Hertz. Yes, I know some of you guys hate these teaser videos, but hey, I gotta keep you on a cliffhanger, right? That's right. So PDXM12 by Alpine's coming up soon. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when it comes out. And don't forget to go back through some of my old videos. I've got over 500 videos, mostly car audio. Make sure you check them out. So yeah, we'll have fun, more amp tests, more other things coming, including the hot rod. That's right, that'll be coming soon too. You know where I am.